Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are starting our praying and fasting by the grace of God. It is not by our power so I sang in the song. It is by the by the spirit of God. Our seven days seven, seven, for praying and fasting. And the, and the theme of this praying and fasting is fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Hallelujah. Ha. The word of God said in, 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 in Mark, Mark chapter 13, verse 31. The word of God said, heaven and earth will pass away, but his word, but his word, his word cannot, nothing can change his word. His word cannot pass away. God that honors his word more than his name. We are here today to hold on to this word. If there's no that you can hold in the word of God, from Genesis to Revelation, hold on to this word of God. He said we should not be water afraid. You should not fear that he is with us. He is with you. He is there to help you. He is there to strengthen you. Are you dismayed? Are you afraid? This is the word of God for you. This is the word of God for me. You should not fear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God saying Isaiah chapter 48 verse, verse, verse 8. Isaiah 48 verse 8 said the grass withered and the, and the flower faded, but the word of God shall stand forever. The grass withered, the grass, the flowers, the fed, but the word of God is settled. It stands forever. So this word stands forever. It depends on how you open your heart to receive it. He said only if you can believe without doubting, you will see this word of God manifesting in your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, my Lord Jesus Christ. We are talking about fear. This word of God was divided. It was with semicolon, colon, like, like that. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. This is powerful, powerful, powerful words. Join together. Fear thou not. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, my Lord. There are many things that can bring fear into our lives. There are many things. Our God knows why he told us not to be fearful. Not to be afraid as children of God, as his children, as his, as to his chosen ones. Our God has spoken that you should not fear. As a child of God, as a follower of Lord Jesus Christ, God is admonishing you today not to fear. But there are many things that can result to this fear because we are human beings. This spirit of fear entered from the right from the Garden of Eden. When man disobeyed God, yesterday we learned about the voice of the serpent. Yes, God used our sister yesterday. This voice of the serpent, ha! How he, how he, how he lured Eve to, to, to commit evil to disobey the creator of heaven and earth, to disobey our great master. After participating in that act of disobedience, the spirit of fear entered in. Immediately Adam took that fruit. You saw fear entered, another spirit entered. The spirit that was in them before left, the spirit of God, the spirit of holiness, the spirit of peace, the spirit of joy departed. Then enter the spirit of fear. There and then, the word of God said in Genesis chapter 3, verse 10. Let us go there, please. Praise the Lord. Genesis. From verse 8 to 10. Genesis chapter 3. And I read in Jesus' name. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden. In the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. 
he heard the voice, that sweet voice he used to hear, and he'll be happy that, oh, my God was calling me. My God is calling me. Let me hear. Because it's always good tidings, always commun co that co co communication, that good relationship, the communion with the Lord God. But this time around, when sin came in, you saw him hiding. God was calling him. The voice was hovering, going through. And was trying to hide under the tree, both him and his wife. And he said he was afraid. He confessed. He said he was afraid. Only that word made our God to know that something wrong has happened. Why are we afraid? Praise the Lord. In the Garden of Eden, as soon as they disobeyed, as soon as the man allowed his the enemy. The agent of darkness overruled the instructions of God and sin appeared and dislodged the man of his dominion, power, and the boldness. As soon as sin entered, there they lost it. They lost that blessed and peaceful moment, environment, that garden, all the beauty of that place, they lost it. That dominion of God said, I gave you dominion over this. They lost it. Boldness, power, everything disappeared. Fear now entered. Fear now gripped them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us. They were hiding from the Lord. It's when one has committed sin, you see yourself hiding. So my claim, yes, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm still worshiping God. I'm still going to church. I'm still, but spiritually, the person has, 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 is gone. Spiritually, the person has gone because the door has been opened for the enemy. The person has communed with that serpent. That serpent has scored that goal. Then that communion with God has been no, no more. That communion was canceled. This is where the, the spirit of fear came in. Praise the Lord. Amen. When fear comes in, it's whole grip of the person. And God asked, asked him, have thou eaten the tree? Has thou eaten of the tree? Whereof I commanded thee that thou should not eat? That is that fruit of the flesh. Yes, it, yes, it, it, yes. That was the question. Before he started giving excuses. There's no excuse. That amount of excuse we are going to present to God that God will pardon us. No. But I thank God for the grace. I thank God for our Lord Jesus Christ. Otherwise, what would have missed it totally? We thank God. That is our hope today. If not, we can't be here today. That is where the sin that entered brought a fairness. One will be frightened. Any little thing like this starts to shake the fruit of the flesh. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19, we know them. Let us examine ourselves. Are we complete in holiness? Is there any fruit of the flesh that is still holding grip of us? If we are still struggling with things, that is why this fear always coming in. Because it's an open door. When there is open door, you see it must come in. May the Lord help us through, throughout this program we are doing. But our God is encouraging us we should not fear. We should not be afraid. Because this has not given us the spirit of fear. It has given us the spirit of power, sound mind, boldness, spirit of love. The love of God, the love of God, that spirit. But this is what the enemy tried to remove from man. To separate man from the master. When God is not with somebody, so what else? It's fear. Fear will take hold. Fear. Fear of what? Fear of knowing, fear of unknown. So when you are still dwelling in the flesh, fear will be knocking at your doors. Discouragements, bad counseling, unbelief, doubt, all these things, they come along with fear. You'll be doubting. You'll be discouraged. Any little thing like this, the whole word of God, you say, start shaking. So we should not be moved by what we are seeing, but we should move by the word of God. This is the word of God that brought us 
to all of us together today. He said, we should fear not. He is with us. He is with thee. Do not be dismayed. There are things that will cause one to be dismayed. There are things that make you say, no more. I am tired. You give reasons. God is telling you today, because he has reconciled us to our Lord Jesus Christ, our God. He came in person and reconciled man to God. That is why we can have this portion today to hold on to this word of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. When fear is holding one, you see people will jump, be jumping from one ministry to another, looking for a solution. And from one prophet or, or man of God to another, looking for how can, how can, how can this fear, how can, how can. It's only God say so we should not fear. Running from one place from pole to post we cannot solve the problem. Only God, only our father, we can run on to. Only him. He's here to encourage us because we are, we are on a journey of life. Like children of Israel, from the land of Egypt, they were going to the promised land. We are on a journey of life. And there is Pharaoh that is still standing there that doesn't want you to go to your promised land. God said, we had in Pharaoh's heart. The enemy in person after the serpent, he doesn't want you to reach your promised land. God said, I will harden his heart, but rather I will glorify myself. God commanded the, Moses, tell the children of Israel to camp around here. So when Pharaoh will see them, he will say, yeah, because of the sea. The sea is there. The sea definitely is there, must be there. As a child of God, but how are we going to settle it? It's God. We can we can do it by our own power. We don't have power of our own. We don't have our own mightiness. It's only God, our Father. Pharaoh gathered all his servants, all his chariots, all his horses. It's okay, hmm. for sure there are no way I'm going to catch them. But this word of God, we overcome that Pharaoh in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, no, this, there was sea there. That is sea. Then we say, yes, I know. I know that. I know that. When you reach there, you start to fall. You will shake. I know. Something is here on your way. What is it? The enemy has placed on your way for you to shake, for you to be discouraged, for you to say, let me turn back, for you to dismay. God said, be not afraid. He is with thee. He is your God. He will help you to cross over. And they pursued. Even the children of Israel started to regret. In Exodus chapter 14, even verse 8 to 10, they started disturbing Moses. So we can, maybe now, we started disturbing Pastor Jeff. Why are you telling us completely, uh, allow me to, to do it like this, now we can. Stop talk, preaching this word, it's too harsh on me. Then you, are, you, are, you are preaching this word because of me. They started to blame the man of God. Why didn't you allow us to go, allow them to go to back to Egypt and start to eat cucumber? Can you imagine? Somebody God has prepared a marvelous, fantastic place, mansions, many things, good, good things. And they were struggling about cucumber. What has cucumber to do with the promises of God? Some people are still enjoying the cucumbers. They don't want to leave. They don't want to go to their promised land. So people are still on their way. And Pharaoh said, no, I'm not going to allow this one to cross over. Now I'm going to pursue. Now Moses cried. Cried. God asked, what are you holding? He says, it's just this rod. What are you holding today? Don't be afraid. You hold God. And no, God is a merciful God. He's a God that forgives. Told him to raise it. Raise it. And that sea became a dry land. So the sea that stands on your way by the point, the name of Jesus Christ. 
God is going to divide them. You will pass and they will become dry land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will divide that sea. You will pass through. You overcome. You will get your promised land. Whether Pharaoh likes it or not. Because God will get his glory in Jesus' name. God is a respecter of nobody. The children of Israel, they made it. They passed. They crossed over. But that's enemy. Those enemies... The word of God say, woe to them that trust in their chariots and their horses. The strength of horses and chariots. But them that trust in their Lord, ha, you overcome. Foolishly, they saw them. They, they wanted to, they joined them to cross after. <laughs> See what God did. That is the God we are talking about here. He's the same God today, yesterday, tomorrow, and forever. The same God. Hold on to his word. If there is no that you are holding, he tells you she should not be fearing. That this spirit of fear must depart. And anything that threatens the fear in your life, Father, remove them. He said, he's going to strengthen us to be, remain for him and him alone. He's going to say down those doors of the wicked ones that are using as loopholes to enter into your life. Our God is more than able. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, my father. Thank you, King of Kings. Proverbs 28 verse one said, the wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. God make us righteous. The righteous is as bold as a lion. When you see front, back, sideways, we are standing by his grace, not by our power. You see the boldness. Fear comes to rebuke it. Why should be shaking? Wherever. You re rebuke it. You rebuke it. We come in the presence of God. We are the soldiers of the Lord. You are the soldier of the Lord. You rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Because when you continue to sing this song of fear, devil will be bragging. Devil will be dancing this song. Yes, Lord, I'm getting, I'm getting them. They are fearing. Why we should fear God? It's only the fear of God. Speak the word of God since the beginning of wisdom. It's not the fearing, fearing this frightening. I know as human beings, many things can cause one to fear. We have dealt with sin. And that's in troubles. Terror, storm, threat. Like Hezekiah received a threat in, in, in Isaiah chapter 30. If you go to 37, 38, because of our time, King Sennacherib from Assyria sent messengers to threaten him, discouraging people not to follow their leader. But what did he do? He prayed. Let us go to Isaiah, let us go to Isaiah 37. Praise the Lord. Amen. God help us to pray in Jesus' name. Amen. He sent his messengers. But he cried unto the Lord. Let us go to 14, 14 of 37. And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. That is what we should do. Not to be crying, not to be fearing of the enemy, you know who, you believe it, who you, you know whom you are worshiping, you know whom you are serving. You are persuaded that God is able to do more than. And Hezekiah prayed unto the Lord, saying, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, that dwelleth between the cherubs, that are God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of earth, that has made heaven and earth, Incline unto my ear, O Lord. Incline unto thy ear, O Lord. I hear. Open thy eyes, O Lord, and see. I hear all the words of Sennacherib, which are sent to reproach the living God. Because when the enemy is attacking the enemy directly, he's trying to bring reproach. We should not allow that reproach to go to our God. He brought this matter as God because we are not our own. We are not your own. God created you for a purpose. Whatever you are, whatever we are, is of the Lord. And that purpose must be fulfilled. Enemy will try to try to do play, play, play head and seek. 
that you know that you are serving the living God. You should not fear. What to make? Bring it to God in prayer. And God said, He is with thee. He will be with thee to the end. Do not be dismayed. Do not cry. God, I knew everything. Those questions I've been asking God. Why, why, why? God said, do not be afraid. Fear thou not. Fear thou not. He is with thee. Those questions, maybe God has not yet answered. God will answer in his own time. But he's telling you that you should not fear. He knew why all these things happened. All will be to his own glory. Peter walked upon the, upon the water with our Lord Jesus Christ. He, he saw the boisterous wind. The wind was shaking. He was afraid. Matthew 14. Matthew 14. He was afraid. These are the things that make one to be afraid. No, you fear as a human being. Many things can cause you to a fear. And our God told him to be of good courage. Be of a good courage. Praise the Lord. That leads me to the topic. Be of good courage. Hallelujah. Amen. Be of good courage. Praise the Lord. Amen. Be of good courage, my brethren. Children of God, be of good courage. The Lord is in the boat. Our Lord God is in the boat. Peter was troubled. When he was walking with the Lord, he was distracted. Immediately he was distracted. He found himself sinking. He found himself sinking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew 14, 29. And he said, come. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Hmm. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. The word of God said, and immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? See, he was, there was doubt. That was why he started sinking. Before, when one is that and becoming afraid, that is a, so, that means that something is a, it's not a good sign. He started sinking in the spirit. Not just sinking it down. Everything is just sinking. Everything is turning off the other side. When there's a doubt in you, you see yourself, you may not notice it maybe early, or you may notice it, maybe one can pretend as if all is well, but you know something is wrong somewhere. You see yourself sinking, sinking. He started sinking. Because our Lord Jesus Christ knew omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscience. He knew what was going on in his heart, in his mind. Say, hey, how can I? Is it possible? Start asking question where he was already working. See, the God has made availability everything. The power to work on that sin, to work on that problem, to work on that terror, to work on that threat. And you see yourself coming out gloriously. But the enemy there is there to, to, to bring doubt. Is it possible? How can it be? Where you got the power? As men that believe in him are given the power to become his children. The power to overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. God said you should be courageous. Don't lose faith. Don't doubt. Continue. Continue in him because he is with you. Do not be dismayed. I know terror will come. Yes, he is always there. But to overcome. As long as you're using this rod. As long as you're using this word of God. As long as you're living righteously. As long as you're obeying the command, the instructions that God has led for you you overcome and to the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. No, we don't have more time. Hallelujah. May the Lord help us. We have come to renew our strength. Z Gideon, the same thing. And our Lord God appeared unto him and there he built her not unto the Lord. That is why we can hear Jehovah Shalom today. When you go to Judges chapter 6, 
at least from 22 to 24. He was afraid and he became afraid when he had that encounter. Then he knew that he raised and he built an altar unto the Lord. God wants us to have a encounter with him. So we can rebuild. If the, if the, if the enemy has tapped with the altar, you are altar with your God. So he can say, Father, help me to renew that altar, rebuild that altar in the name of Jesus. That altar that will give him opportunity to come. So he will be with you. When there is no room for God, he cannot be with somebody. It's when he created the room for him, God will be there. An enemy will not have any loophole to come in and play around with the person to receive that power, the strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord releases his, his strength and power to follow him unto the end in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank I am that I am. Haman planned evil against the children of God. And the woman God used Esther and he declared praying and fasting and God turned things around. This is not time to be crying and fearing our friend. God said, be, be of good courage. Be strong in the Lord. God, God, our God is the God that created heaven and earth. Say, who, who can you be likening me unto? Who can we liken God unto? No one. No one. If you go to Isaiah 12, you know where this devil has been cast down, trodden down on the ground. And he's here dealing, fighting children of God to, to rob you, to rob you, your blessings, to rob you, your power, to rob you, your dominion, to rob you, the grace of God. We should not give him that chance, that opportunity in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know what enemy is doing. Yes, it's in the ministry. Our leader, our ministers, our sisters, be strong. Children of God, be strong. God said, do not be afraid. He is with thee. He will be with thee. Do not be dismayed. He is your God. He is your God. No matter what is happening, he is your God. Just follow him on this highway of holiness. Just continue following on this highway of holiness. You are going to sing a song. A song of praise is white in our head. You are going to jubilate. You are going to glorify God. You will see the end. Job passed through many things. There it is told. The word of God, the latter end of Job was much better than his former. Everything were double. The other time I tried to say, let me see, say the double, you know. I tried to check chapter one of Job and the, the 42. How many cartoons, how many this I saw. Really double, double. Because we just read, we don't say let us, I said, let me just calculate these double things. And I checked. Everything, this one was 100, 500. You see the other one, 1,000. I said, this is true. Double, not just by words. It really happened. May the Lord help you to hold upon his word. You cannot come in the presence of God and the enemy will use one thing to toss you around. You start shaking and shivering for the devil. He said to you go and try another, another level to come and make you to be a friend. No, God said, be thou what? Be, 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 be thou not a friend. Hear that not in Jesus' name. Thank you, my God. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. The sick ones came to the Lord and God hid them. The woman of issue of blood said, Only if I may touch his garment. And God did wonders. I don't know what might be making you to be afraid. Is it your marriage? Is it your children? Is it your career? Is it your vision? Is it the way you are living your life now? You thought maybe all hope had been lost. No. There is a good news for you. What God has told you today, you should not be afraid. Let me read, um, to be the last, no, we don't have much time. Thank you, my God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, I am that I am. In the name of Jesus. Our God say, whoever that confesses his sin and forsaketh them. Proverbs 28, 13. God said, he will, want, he will show mercy. Our God wants us to confess and forsake. We have come to receive the power to forsake. It is not our power. 
That stubborn Pharaoh is always there. That enemy is always there to try to rekindle that you have come to receive the strength by the power of God. The name of Jesus. That's enchantment, that plan of the wicked one against us, against you, will not come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Ezekiel was given that prophecy of death. The word of God said he turned himself by the wall. What did he pray? He presented his matter. He told God how upright he was in working with the Lord, that he worked perfectly with the Lord. Just how many minutes of prayer there and then God spoke to the man of God and he, he turned everything around. That is the God we are serving. So we can have something to present to God because God is seeing whatever we are doing. Say, God, how I walk with you in perfect heart. For well, God is worthy to make us and ready to make give us a perfect heart. Because he knows the issues of life is in this heart. If this heart is polluted, where are you aiming at? The issues of life. May the Lord help you in the name of help us all in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray. To take this word of God bit by bit. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Even verse 13 of the same chapter where this word of God came up. God repeated this word again. Isaiah 41 verse 13. For I, the Lord God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. God said, He will hold your right hand. He will hold you. Fear not, He will help you. Fear not, God will help you. Fear not, fear not. For well, God will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're going to pray. Verse 11 said, Behold, all they that were incensed against, this is prayer now. Anywhere I say, we are going to use it to pray this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. In the same chapter where we are, because we are standing on the word of God. He said, Every earth will pass away, but the word of God cannot pass away. The word of God, we are holding God on his word. This is the God that honors his word. We are going to stand on this word today. He said, We should not be afraid anymore. Is with us in Jesus' name. We are going to pray. Say, all oh, that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. This is the word of God. We are going to pray with this word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. We are going to pray, oh Lord, my God, my Father. I need power that says against me, oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, put up to shame, oh Lord. Come, Father, in the name of Jesus. Any power bringing fear in your life, any power that bringing fear in your life, oh God, my Father, Lord. Father, come, Father, put up to shame in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any power, any kingdom, any dominion, any authority, any principality that bringing shame, that bringing sense in your life spirit of good my father coming from the kingdom of God. Why that is and making me to shame go find them in the mighty name of Jesus the name of Jesus in the mighty 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 name of
Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, King of Kings. In Jesus' name, Amen. Proverbs 28, verse 10. Whoso caused the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. But the upright shall have good things in possession. We are going to pray, Father. Every agent of darkness is assigned for me to go astray, Father Lord. My Lord, let them fall into their own pit, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Christ. For me to fall inside, for us to fall inside, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. My God, my Father, cause them to fall inside that pit by fire, by thunder. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every to create fear in our lives, Father Lord, my God, in our families, in our marriages, in our children, in Saint Jeremiah, in your church, in the body of Christ, oh God, my Father Lord, let them fall inside the streets, my Father they are the okay. ones that are going to fall in their own pit. Jesus, let them fall into that pit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Of Jesus Amen. Christ, Father, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for Pharaoh and his agents, the servants, the messengers, their chorus, their, their horses that pursue you, that pursue you this year. Since January, this is June is almost ended. This is the, 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 the middle of the year. We are going to pray. Let this one swallow them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, as we are praying the first of God, every Pharaoh that will not allow us to go to our promised land, that will not allow your mission to prosper, that will not allow us to have our peace. Oh God, my Father, my Father, my God, my Father, my God, my Father, my God, my Father, my God, my Father, every Father, my Lord, my Father, in my life, oh God. My father, that you are God, show that you father, oh, that you are God, God, my father, you are the God with the final say, oh God, my father, in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus, father, we are planned, oh God, my father, in the mighty name of Jesus, those demons, oh God, my father, those baba enemies, that are drinking, oh God, my father, not to reach to our people, father, cut them with the power, in the mighty name of Jesus. We worship you, thank I am that I am, oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray thanksgiving, amen. Verse 15 of Isaiah 41. He said, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shall make the hill as chaff. God says, going to make you a sharp, a new sharp. We are going to prefer, make me a new sharp. Renew my scent, oh God. Renew my power, Lord. Renew us in the name of Jesus. Renew in the name, Jesus. name of Jesus, my Lord, my Father, make me sharp, oh God, my Father, Baba, renew my mind, oh God, renew my prayer life, oh God, renew my mind. Jesus, to break into pieces. Touch, oh God, my Father, renew me, Lord, my Father, renew my holiness, oh God, renew the fear of you, Lord, my Father, my life, renew the my, my reading of your word, oh God, renew your word in my life, oh God, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, glorify your name, oh God, my Father, empower me, Lord, my Father, with your power, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, my Father, revive my prayer life, oh God, renew me, oh God, my Father, let the old things pass away, Lord, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, of Jesus, let there be a new beginning, oh God, my Father, Baba, new beginning, Baba, in my prayer life, oh God, my Father, in holiness and righteousness, draw me near to you, Lord, my Father, Baba, renew my love for you, my God, my Father, renew the fear of you, Lord, my Father, in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus, renew my trust for you, my God, my Father, renew me, Lord, my Father, renew every, Baba, every area of your life, oh God, my Father, renew it, oh God, my Father, in your power, in the mighty name of Jesus, renew my prayer life, oh God. We worship you. We worship you. In, in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Christ, Christ. Apart from there, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my God. Thank you, King of Kings. I still pray in Jesus' name. Verse 28 of, um, of, of, of Isaiah 40. 
Has thou not known in Jesus' name? Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. The word of God says, verse 31, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. You're going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, for I renew my, my strength, oh God. I want to roll without growing weak. I want to walk without being weary. In the name of Jesus, renew our strength. Mm-hmm. Renew the strength in this ministry. Renew the strength of your children, oh God. Renew the strength of the body of Christ, oh God. Renew the strength, oh Lord, of our leader. Mm-hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. So you will not have the mighty name of Jesus. Renew our strength, oh God. Renew our strength, oh God. Renew our strength, oh God. We will receive this strength in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, hold me, Lord, my father, to write and don't put my father. The mighty name of my Jesus. Then I was sent to God, my father. Then I was sent to you, my Lord. Then I was sent my father. In the name of Jesus, God, 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 receive strength, oh God. Receive strength, my Lord. Receive strength, receive strength, receive power, receive power, receive power, receive strength, receive strength, receive strength, receive strength. In the mighty anymore <laughs> Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord. He Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray. Oh God, my Father, suffocates every power that suffocates my love for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God suffocates every kingdom, every power that suffocates my love, my passion for you in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Every power that suffocates our peace, and that suffocates them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. King of God, wherever they Darkness that is destroyed, oh God, my father, it will be the wickedness. Oh God, my father, the fire of you, Lord, my father, and my father, the fire of power in the mighty Jesus, every kingdom, the father, not allow us. In the mighty name of Jesus, to be my father, 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 my so then, my life, in the mighty name of Jesus, 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 Jesus mighty name. Thank God you, my Father. Father. Thank you, my God. In Jesus Christ, my time, Father, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Father. Mike 13, verse 12. I'm 13. I read in Jesus' name. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. And he laid his hands on her. And immediately she was made straight and glorified God. We do, I don't know what has enemy has entangled you with. It can be sickness. It can be whatsoever enemy has that challenge. Bring them before the Lord now. The word of God said the Lord just got touch that woman. And she was loose from that power of darkness. From that sickness. In the name of Jesus. Sickness can bring fear. In the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord, my Father, Lord. We bring on to the Lord. Every sickness. My father, I'm going through a good my father. Cause me, what my father needs to put that upon my father. Father, 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 my father destroyed this sickness, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
My father can be the great of what Baba gave to you. In the name of Jesus, help us, my father. You say you will help us, my father. You are God. You are God. You are my God. You are God. You are my God. You say you hold on to your hand. You are the miracle working God. There is nothing that you cannot do, Lord, my father. We are coming to you, Father. We are coming to you. For this sickness, oh God, this situation, my father, 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 my Whatever the locals say, they can't come up. The locals, the papa won't have eaten it. Father Lord, restore whatever they are storing in your life. Mm. They go restore the rest of their children. Mm. In mm. this mm. ministry, in the nations, 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 in I want to my life, oh God, my father, my finances, my God, my father, my God, my father, my God, 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 my Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus Christ, my Father, you are God of Restoration. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. In Jesus Christ, my Father, we pray thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for our children. Most of parents, is the children, when when we are praying, you see that doing a different thing. Sometimes become afraid. God, how will this happen? You see, find yourself you are worshiping God. They are doing a different thing. God said He will pour His Spirit upon our flesh, and our children will prophesy. We are going to pray, mm-hmm. Father. Pour mm-hmm. Your Spirit. You say you will help us. Mm-hmm. Father, help our children. Pour Your Spirit upon them. Help them and deliver them from mm-hmm. every mm-hmm. Sunday mm-hmm. of the weekend. Mm-hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, help our children, Lord God. We bring them to You, Lord. Let God change them. Put our youth in the hands of from the love of the things of this world in the mighty name of Thank you, Father. And that fill them with the Spirit. Fill them the Spirit to fill you with the God, my Father. Jesus, Father, fill them with the Spirit of the fear of the Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. In the name of the Father, Lord of the Son. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Son. Thank you, Amen. Amen. Thank you, my God. The word of God in Judges in Judges six twenty five. And God commanded Gideon to bring to trodden down all the Baal, all those evil altars. Mm. We are going to pray, Father. Arise, let your power be right. Every evil altar led in the lives of our children or in our own lives. He says, Jehovah your God, any evil altar enemy has led our God against this peace, against our families, against our mother, against our children, against our children, Lord God, my father, 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 God,
in our life, in our ministry, what my father is, father, father, the Lord, what my father is, your angel, to destroy the Lord, destroy this evil, destroy this strange cause, destroy this strange cause in our lives, so God, in the name of Jesus, that strange God that are ruling on my father in the life of our children, father, father, the Lord, what my father, the power in the mighty name of Jesus, any altar, that is Baba, all of my father, Baba, speaking evil against our children, Lord, my father, let it be scattered by your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Because this destroy all God, my father, the plan of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter every evil order, every strange God that they have. Thank you, that I am. Do my father to take our home, to take our life, to put my father to take our children. Scatter them, God, my father, to in the mighty name of Jesus, strange gods, oh God, my father, my strange altar. My father, scatter them, Lord, my father, to power. In the mighty name of mighty and powerful, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you, my God. Oh, thank you, my Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Finally, here. Amen. We're going to pray in Jesus' name. Isaiah 10 to the 7. And it shall come to pass in that day that this body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and, thy, and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. That body, that, that bringing fear. God, take them away. That yoke now. In the name of Jesus, Father, take away every yoke, every mm. burden that upon my shoulder. Yoke of fear, anything that brings fear in my life, oh Lord. In the name of in Jesus, Jesus oh that is your fault, God, my Father, Baba, upon my shoulder, let my Father, Baba, you say you are going to be my Father, 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 my to you be all the glory forevermore, in Jesus' mighty name. Let us begin to thank God for this prayer mm. and thank authority. Any power that raise against this prayer, Holy God, for our it. Cover the blood of Jesus Christ, for the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, we thank you for this session of prayer. We thank you, King of Lord. We want to say the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. We want the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. We want the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. This prayer is for the Holy Ghost. We want the blood of Jesus Christ. 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 We want the blood of Jesus Thank you. 
Thank you for answering all our prayers. Amen. Father, I have we thank you, King of Glory. Bless your name, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, my God. Thank you, Father. Who are we, Lord? That you can answer our prayers, oh God. Thank you, Jehovah Nis, oh God. You said this sign shall follow them that believe, oh Lord. But let this sign of asking prayer follow us in Jesus' name, oh Lord. Thank you, King of God, for your adoring and miss, oh Lord. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for the grace. Thank mm -hmm. you, you are God. You are not a man, oh God. You are the God that does whatever you want to do, Lord. Father, we worship you, we honor you. We exalt your majesty, Lord. There is no one like you, my God. Thank you, Father, Lord. We cannot even thank you enough, oh Lord, for what I've started in our lives, oh God. We know our confidence in you, Lord, that you have begun that good and great work in our lives. You bring them to an end. You will perfect them until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray thanksgiving. Any part of rights accuse us, mm -hmm. Father, the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord, rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We call it what we have received this out of God. Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ, the answer to our prayers, we call them all the blood of Jesus Christ. We call your ministry the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank Jesus. you, my God. Thank you, the Spirit of God. Pastor Thank you, Lord. Prayers. To you be all the glory now forevermore. In Jesus Christ's mighty and powerful name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Hand over to you, Mama.